Close your eyes and watch your breath. As for anything else, you don't have to pay attention to it at all. Just be with the breath coming in, breath going out. If you're going to talk to yourself, talk to yourself about the breath. Ask yourself how the breath feels. If the breath feels good, can you maintain it? If it doesn't feel good, how about changing it? You can make it longer or shorter, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Experiment for a while to see what kind of breathing feels best for the body right now. And then be willing to settle in with the breath. All too often the mind stays with breath just a little bit and then it moves off to something else. It never gets to build anything here. There's a Pali word, aramana, which basically means your support. It's the object you choose to focus on. And it's the object you choose to focus on is then what you build on. I'm going to go through the day choosing things to build on objects that we haven't really thought that much about. We don't pay much attention to what we're choosing, but it is our choice, what you're going to focus on and then what you're going to build on top of it. You can build all kinds of stories out of little tiny things, and the stories can be good, the stories can be bad. It depends on what you focus on. If you go around focusing on the negative points of the people around you, you're going to build all sorts of stories about how they're horrible people. You don't want everything to do with them. If you focus on their good points, then you can get something beneficial out of them. In other words, you can see that there's a lot of good around you, and that makes you more inclined to do, want to do good things for the people around you, too. So be very careful about where you choose to focus your attention, what kind of things you're going to build on the objects you focus on. Because the mind is an expert builder. As the Buddha said, the mind goes building houses everywhere. We came into this life as was our house-building mind that brought us here. And as we go through the day, we start building little houses here, little houses there. And you ask, ask yourself, how solid are they grounded? What's their foundation? Did you choose a good foundation to begin with? And then what are you building? Here when you work with the breath, you're choosing something good. It's something here in the present moment that you can turn into a source of pleasure, a source of well-being, if you look at it in the right way. And then you can build a place for the mind to stay, what they call Vihara Dhamma, a home for the mind, where you really are at your ease. And then regardless of how things are outside, you've got a good place inside. And when you've got a good place inside, then you can see good opportunities outside as well, because they do exist. If all you can focus on are how things are miserable inside you right now, well, then it starts spreading around. As the John Mahabo used to say, you take the mud inside you and you sling it around the people around you. Then you blame everybody else for being muddy. We have to look at where you're getting your ideas to begin with, what you're focusing on inside. If you focus on something good, you can see that there's a potential for good here. And then as you have your potential for good inside, then you see there's a potential for good outside. So be very careful about what you choose to focus on, how you choose to focus on it, and what you build out of it. And people have built wars out of just a sense of being miserable inside. At the same time, if you have a sense of well-being inside, people can work together and build all kinds of good things as well. So you have to ask yourself, what, what are you building and where are you building it? Where are you building it? If you're chosen the right spot, maybe you can move your house site someplace else. Because we do have this ability to focus on what we choose to focus on. Lots of things are happening outside, lots of things are happening inside, good and bad. So try to focus on the things that, where you can build something good. It gives you a good, solid foundation inside. And from there you can find good things outside as well. If there's nothing good inside, you tend to see all the problems and all the drawbacks of other people. And that makes human life go down, basically. Things start falling apart. So where is the problem starting? Well, the problem starts inside, so search inside for what's good there. And then begin to see that there are other good things outside as well, and we can build on good things together. Otherwise everything falls apart and nobody benefits from the presence of other people around, which is a shame, because as human beings we can be very helpful to one another. But it all starts inside, so make sure you've got a good foundation inside, a good place to build your homes for the mind, so that your home is a good home and it's solidly based.